Here we go again. Another brother gunned down. You know, this is starting to piss me off. You know, it seems like every time you click on the news, you read the newspaper, you hear about another black kid gunned down, another black man, another black woman gunned down for an unlawful reason. Now, we got this white man, Michael Dunn, that gets pissed off because he hears, you know, some black kids playing their music loud, you know, it wasn't agreeable to his ears. So he goes over there and starts causing an altercation with him. He gets in an argument with him, pulls out his pistol and starts shooting. Now, neither one of these kids had a gun on them. It basically was a verbal confrontation. But because Florida has this bullshit stand your ground law, this white man feels like he's justified to pull out a gun and kill people. And, you know, this goes back to when I talk about black folks in this country need to stop turning the other cheek. It's time we get out there and we start demanding that certain policies are put into place to protect us. You know, just like I said about, you know, Obama and, you know, his last term as being a president, I felt like he spoke for everyone except African Americans. We need to have certain policies and certain laws that are put into place that protect us. Why is it that, you know, everyone spoke for and, and, and everything is put into place except for black folks? But we have crimes like this that is going on. And, you know, it really irritates me because it's like, you know, we get out there and, we, you know, we might march a little bit. But, you know, it seems like nothing really gets changed. And, you know, I get tired of hearing about black folks being shot down, you know, just because, you know, they're black or because, you know, they, they were so-called threatening someone. You know, the, the, the black man, you know, just black people in general are the most feared people, you know, here on this planet. And, you know, it just, it, it really irritates me. But, you know, it, it's time that we stop turning the cheek. And it's time that we start demanding that things are changed. Now, you know, this kid wasn't, he wasn't even driving the car. And got gunned down. But, you know, it's just, it's, it's getting crazy out here. You know, if you look around and you've been observing the news and just the world in general... Ever since Obama got put back into office, you've been hearing a lot of racism going on, a lot of unjustful crimes and murders that's happening. It's just been bonkers out here. And, and the, the reason is because you got a lot of white people out here that are just going nuts because he's back in office. But, you know, I'm not just going to totally put it on that. You know, it's just it's America as a whole. You know, we got to start putting policies that are not only protecting U.S. citizens, but protecting black people. But, you know, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. If y'all want to read the article, you know, I'm not even going to really get too deep into the, the tactics of it and, and, and the overall details. Y'all can check out the article, but this shit's got to change. This this Florida stand your ground bullshit, you know, it, it, it's, it's got to be evaluated. Because what it's doing is that it's giving people the right to shoot down innocent people just because they feel like it. And you got this white guy, Michael Dunn, shoots down black brother Jordan Davis because of, of music. Because he so-called felt threatened. What did you feel threatened by? Nobody had a gun. It was basically a verbal altercation. What, what were you threatened by? By the color of his skin? Is, is, is that what scared you out of your boots? But, you know, that's all I got to say, man. You know, I'm pissed off about this story. I'm tired of hearing this same bullshit over and over. And things have really got to change. I was just reading something the other day about a black man that was gunned down in L.A. Just for the hell of it. Because the LAPD felt like he was a threat. Felt like he was armed with something and didn't have a damn thing on him. Brother was pulling out his wallet. But we got to stop this, man. You know, and it's, it's getting crazy out here. So, you know, if you black, watch your back, please. Because this could be your brother, your sister, your mother, your father. This could be somebody that you close to. This very same incident could happen to one of them. It could happen to you. So, you know, it's time that we start getting armed. And we start 
getting our gun permits and, and start protecting ourselves because if we don't protect our own self and demand that certain policies are put into place, nobody else will. But that's all I got to say. I'm out.